So I'd actually just film it, uh, finished filming my video this morning. Uh, I was walking back along the side of the lock, just heading back towards the car. Absolutely pristine, beautiful morning. And I stumbled across this, which is fly camping. What a bloody shame. What a shame. Here on the side of Loch Ennock, sort of, you know, high up in, uh, in Galloway, just by a lovely little beach, and someone's decided to leave their tent. And all the stuff in it too, I'll show you, show you what's in it. So just coming in here, the first thing I immediately did walking over was sort of just say, oh, I'm racing, just coming over to see if there's anyone in the tent. You know, someone could have been blown off in the night and been a bit injured. Um, the tent was in quite a rabble, but as you can see, you know, just full of rubbish. But actually what gets me the most is they've, they have taken, you know, the things that they hold nearest and dearest to them. Because look at this, this is a, a, a jet power, jet boil canister. You know, those run jet boils primarily, um, maybe a couple of other little stoves too, but I can guarantee you that person's took what they wanted and just left this. You know, they purposely picked cheap kit in here. Everything's really, really cheap. Um, you know, just like £10, £10 roll mat, trespass thing, mess tins, a lot of this stuff you could pick up from, you know, from a service station on the way here, realistically. So I've straightened this tent out now, but it wasn't quite a, a rabble when I found it. The biggest problem for me is personally, is like, what do I do about that? I've already got a really, really heavy kit. I had a lot of photography equipment up here with me. I just simply haven't got room to carry any of this down with me. But I hate to leave it here. You know, I mean, I mean, this person's left a Quasia pop-up tent. Again, these things aren't actually that cheap. It's, it's astounding that someone can do that in such a beautiful area you know, where we are. You know, this person's woke up with this beautiful view while well, morning, how long it's been here, I don't know. Woke up with the lock, all those mountains, and then decided the best course of action was just to fly camp and leave their tent here. It's such a shame, absolutely such a shame. As I said, there really isn't much I can do. I've, I'm carrying the maximum weight I can, and I'm already stumbling across some of this moorland. To carry any more weight is, is going to be a bit stupid, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll see what I can do when we get down to the bottom. Maybe there's someone we could tell, a Facebook group, something like that, um, that will be able to come up and grab this tent. Even Chico is <laughs> ashamed by this tent. But it's, it's stupid. It's just stupid. You know, you've carried it up here, you carry it down. There's no excuse for that. If you bring it into the mountains, you take it back out of the mountains um, and even even stuff like this. So this. This was actually the first thing I noticed. I'd only stopped funny enough to take my coat off. I hadn't actually spotted the tent till I put my rucksack down. But just coming back over here onto the beach, back onto the beach. And look at that, there we go. Spoon just left on a rock. So even stuff like that, it just spoils the landscape. Why would you do it? And you've got the appreciation to come into a beautiful area like this and then to, to leave something like that. What I'm gonna do is chuck that inside the tent, zip the tent up um, and just really tuck it into the fencing. And hopefully someone who is a bit more lightweight uh, in what they're carrying will be able to take it back down. I so said, there's very little I can do and that's such a shame, such a shame. But if I take any more weight, um, I've already rolled my ankle a couple of times. I could get a lot worse, so I'm, uh, you know, it's my own safety first, sadly. But yeah, what a shame. So what I've done is just fully zipped up the inside, so none of the crap that's in there is going to fall out. Um, I mean, the, the, the tent's in a, you know, relatively good condition, to be quite honest. It's a bit of a shame I can't take it with me. I'd, I'd sell it on and make a bit of money. Um, but these pop-up tents are just they're too big and heavy. Now the one thing I could do potentially just to secure it, I guess. Is potentially to just grab a grab a rock from over by the beach and just chuck it on top. There we go. So we've got our rock. I'm actually just going to pop that dead centre in the middle of the tent. Not going to damage the tent because you know, I mean, you never know. Certain situations, maybe this person has left it for good reason, so we don't want to damage that tent just just in case. But I highly doubt it. So hopefully that's going to be as secure as possible. And uh, as I said, I'll try and find a Facebook group or something to alert someone locally that that's here. But what a shame. And it gives while camping a bad name, you know. There's a whole argument at the moment that, um, oh, there you go, pegs just stumbled across those. Um, there's a whole argument at the moment that while camping in England and Wales should be made legal. But 
I'm not sure that's true. I, I just think there's too many idiots. And in fact, if you're in enough Scottish Facebook groups, you know the problems these guys cause. Um, especially leaving, even leaving things like pegs. That's really sharp. You know, you get a lot of deer, a lot of big animals, even small animals around here. It doesn't take much. I mean, I've got Chico with me. Chico came across that and that was sticking up in the ground. That'd do some serious damage. And we're still two and a half hours away from the car. That's going to be a real problem. And it could be a problem for mountain rescue. It could be a problem for, um, you know, obviously the vets going forward and um, anyone that comes across. Anyone that comes across these things, you're walking around barefoot, perhaps you're going for a swim in the lock. Even pegs by the lakeside is such a poor idea. But um, what I'm going to do is take those pegs because I'm going to have them for my tent. But yeah, maybe, maybe that's an extreme circumstance. Maybe that person, I don't know, maybe the tent blew off in the night, they're going to come down and find it. As I said, there's no rucksack in there, there's no stove. Um, th those key elements that would have cost quite a bit of money aren't there. Uh, so to me, they, they've just left that. But what a shame, what a shame. Uh, you know, the only way to world camp, pack in, pack out everything, absolutely everything. That's every single wrapper, every single peg, you know, your bloody spoon, leaving it on the rocks, absolutely everything because it's just not fair. Ruins the landscape and uh, yeah, it's, you know, that's, that's gonna sit there now for, well, until someone comes and get it. Sadly, that can't be me, but there we go. We've done all we can do. Onward.